Alright guys, you already know what it is. The Olympian coming at your heart with yet again another banger. Bang them out left, right and center. Make your knees feel a little bit jelly. Enjoying a good time, having a good time, boy. My name is the Olympian. Olympianus, aka Lumpinus. With the Venus. With the six inches. Never been to Venus, but I hear it's nice. Alright, so make sure you kick your feet up, because we're in for the long haul, guys. We're in here for some great content. Great content. It's pretty hard being a troller. If you find a wholesome content like this, I mean, these guys just showing love, showing where they come from, showing their appreciation, and we're just here. I mean, we think a little, it's a little bit cringy, alright? Let's just get it out of the way real quick, but we understand, alright, and we want to understand even a little bit more. Side note, 200% of you guys are not subscribed. Now, I guess I don't know why that is, all right? I mean, it's wholesome content. I mean, I'm just a humble guy trying to get to, to the 100 subscriber count. 100, all right? If we get 100, shit. I mean, that will be so good. I could go home to my mama and she might finally love me for getting that 100 subscribers. I mean, she, her son has at least 100 friends. I need you to make that shit a, make that shit a reality, guys. I need you guys. Please, come on now. Hit that mother... <clears throat> Subscribe button, hit that motherfucker <clears throat> like button so I can make my feet people bread. Okay, guys, I appreciate you now. Go, go, yeah, yeah. Like a child. I'm Jade, I'm 25 years old, and I'm only three foot two inches tall. Hey, shout it. I'm Todd, I'm 24 years old, and I'm five foot nine. They're throwing in five nine like it's some sort of achievement, all right? I mean, yeah, I mean, she's short, yeah, of course, but five nine, like, he's five nine. Shit. What? Like seriously, I mean that's basically average height. I would, I would, I would expect that to be average height. All right. <laughs> Why are you standing like that, Todd? Why are you doing that, Todd? You're a little bit shy. Guys, you thought I was gonna say weird. All right. This guy is throwing up gang signs, man. He's a mother <clears throat> killer. We met through Facebook. I seen Todd's picture in my suggested friends list, and I was like, ooh. They're kind of cute. They're kind of cute. I feel like after we met, it was meant to be. I was like, yes, this is my person. The couple knew this was true love, and eight months into their relationship, they decided to begin the next chapter of their love story. We went to the thrift store and got these cheap little rings just to have something to uh, exchange during the wedding. What was most important was that we were there together. Guys, when I said wholesome, I needed you guys to believe me. All right, we have never. This is the first, the first special we have ever seen uh, as the Olympian, as the Olympianas, guys. Are we not entertained of the story of love? I mean, they go a long way, man, to the turf shop, man, to Macklemore's hometown, and they just, they just tie the knot right there, man. Leave no doubt that this was love, man. I mean, five years ago, we would have called her in America. We would call her. Um, a midget, right? You know? And now we have given her the prestige title of little people. Little people in America. I mean, if that's not love, guys. I, I mean, on the record, I'm impressed. All right, carry on. Todd knew something didn't feel right and wanted to be honest with Oh, snap. I've always kind of felt a little different. I realized that Maybe that non-binary is something that really fit with me once I started learning about it. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, wow, bro. Like, dude. Wow, dude. Tell you something about that non-binary weed, man. I fuck that shit up, man. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who look me different, man. Like, if I look me different, I'm buying the weed. Best kind of weed you can get, motherfucker. <laughs> Todd did not identify as non-binary when we were first together. I let them know that regardless of how you want to identify, I'm still here. I still love you. Man, you can always expect truly to go above and beyond with this type of episodes, right? So, I mean, it's not about the love, right? These guys, they show love. They show, they show passion, right? I mean, nothing's wrong with that. It's not about the money. You can see that clearly, right? But truly, if I'm sending a videotape to truly telling them, listen... This is my wife, which I love. We met 10 years ago in the bar, and we have just been kicking it throughout. And they just go like, yeah, it's not good enough. What else? And then I'll say, yeah, well, she's got a count of a body count of at least 1,500. And they go like, yeah, no. And then you go and say, listen, man, 
for record, I'm gay. I'm gay as fudge, man. I do not care who you are. I will find you, and I will sick on your nipples, dry boy. Then they go, oh shit, man, you met at the bar, right? She got a body count of at least 1,500 guys that she slept with. Plus, you are gay as fudge? Oh, shit, man. You smell that? What the? Yeah, what is that? Ratings. That is ratings. Aid wanted to use social media to give an insight into what it's like to live with a disability. But sharing her world has led to a lot of negative comments. I, I like using TikTok and Instagram to really just express myself and give my fans the opportunity to get to know me. Todd would be in my TikToks and uh, in my lives. So people would see them a lot more and we would get so many negative comments. It was insane. What? People were like, is that a man or a woman? All right, guys, my honest 10 cents here, all right? It's as much as I'm getting paid from YouTube. 10 cents. You can make that change when you hit that like button, hit that mother <coughs> subscribe button. And also, I want to thank all 69 of you subscribers. You guys, <laughs> you make me so happy, guys. You really do, man. 69, lucky number 69, boy. I appreciate you, boy. But let me just give him that 10 cents real quick, all right? When I first saw Todd, leave no doubt, leave no doubt that I didn't know what this guy was, all right? But I think that's important, right, in your relationship. So you, you have someone who's like, I've been going out with this person for... 20 odd years or something and i cannot even tell you if this is a man or a woman it's it's exciting right you get you get both worlds right that's just my 10 cents laying it down fresh hotter than a fudge boy that's the most androgynous person i've ever seen in my life uh, i've had people say things like um i think it's inappropriate for anyone who's average height to be mm -hmm with a person who's small they're they're saying like they should go to jail as in comparing me to like a child what that's the worst thing that you heard the whole of tiktok and that's the worst thing that you heard i mean tiktok it's confirmed man that's for children all right you're gonna get comments up there like hey pip squeak you're gonna get comments like hey butt licker you're gonna get comments like hey your dad's a banker that's why nobody likes you all right big boy's been promoted all right catch us on reddit the Olympian knocking down doors, boy, on the daily. You can catch me there, boy. Roasting hotter, mother fudge, man. Hotter than fudge, boy. I tell you some, right? This is for ch children, man. You come to to Reddit, you're gonna get comments like, "Uh, you must be the first woman to have ever been between a man's heads, both heads, right?" That's just some of them. Right comes to mind. Now, listen, I I understand perfectly what the people are saying all right is uh, their opinion they're going like listen we don't want you going out there with average height men all right now i can understand that this is what we voted for right as a people we wanted little people to be free to express themselves but there you go again taking an average height motherfudger all right it's not fair it's not fair to the little people all right you are a disgrace all right i'll tell you some but also, man, kids, man, they're they're really tough, all right? Let's say your son gets bullied in school, and he goes, Oh, I'll call my mommy. All of a sudden, you walk in, get your ass whoop, Get your ass whoop by a 10-year-old. Your little sophisticated ass will be screaming, Help, help, help. Well, you get your ass whoop, man. He be trying all kinds of kung fu shit on your ass, man. <laughs> I feel like the people that are so focused on on us doing negatively because of how we live our lives are the people who are probably just not very happy with themselves. Exactly, right? Mm. Mm. <sighs> yeah, man, sometimes these guys be hating on them, motherfucker, man. I'm just doing what I do, baby, you know? Like it ain't no thing but a G thing, baby. <laughs> they just trying to hate on me every single time I open my mouth, boy. If they see me, they start hating on me, but they ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Keep it real. I would say that it doesn't matter your gender, wow. your height, your ability, disability. Love is love. You know, love is love, and love will conquer, right? So yeah, there you go, man. 
really good stuff, really wholesome stuff. Um, like I said, want to thank you guys. Thank you guys for staying. Like and subscribe. Have fun time with it, boy. And last words, I'll leave it to the greatest of all time. That motherfucker talk. Yeah. No matter what, we're gonna do what what we want to do and what we think is good for our Yeah, family. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yo, just ain't no. You may be using these smoke some weed. <laughs> you know, like, you so unhappy with us. I mean, smoke some weed ain't nothing but a G string, baby. <laughs>